Bob sat at a small, wobbly cafe table staring at the figure across from him. The being, who claimed to be God, wore a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses, sipping a questionable-looking drink through a straw. It was not what Bob expected. So, Bob began, clearing his throat, I get ten questions? Yup, God said, slurping noisily. Ten, no more, no less. Fire away, Bob fidgeted. He had been preparing for this moment his whole life. Philosophical musings, deep questions about existence, the universe, good and evil. This was his moment. He straightened up and asked the first question that came to mind. Why is there evil in the world? God put down the drink and adjusted the sunglasses, peering over the top of them. Well, Bob, evil is like pineapple on pizza. Some people like it, some don't. But it exists because, why not? Adds a bit of spice, doesn't it? Bob blinked. Wait, what? That's not really an answer. Next question, God sang, tapping his straw against the table in a rhythm that was beginning to get on Bob's nerves. Bob sighed, rubbing his temples. All right, fine. What's the meaning of life? God leaned back, hands behind his head. Oh, that's easy. It's 19. 19? Yeah, 19. A good solid number. Not too big, not too small. Just right. Bob stared, mouth slightly open. He had expected something cryptic, but this? You're saying that the meaning of life is a number... 19? Well, it's certainly not 42 if that's what you were hoping for. Bob's head was spinning. He decided to change tactics. Okay, what happens after we die? God leaned forward, looking serious for the first time. Bob felt a flicker of hope. Maybe this would be the profound answer he was looking for. Well, God said slowly, you get in line. A line? Yep, a big old line and then you wait. For what? For whatever comes next. Sometimes it's a buffet. Sometimes it's a carnival. Depends on the day, really. Bob clenched his fists under the table. A buffet? A carnival? Look, Bob, I don't make the rules. Well, I do, but it's not as organized as you think. Bob pinched the bridge of his nose, breathing slowly. All right, all right, let's try something else. What was the purpose of creating humanity? God chuckled. Ah, well, that's a classic. Humans? You're kind of like a hobby. I was really into making galaxies for a while, but you know how it is. You get bored of the big stuff, so you start fiddling with the smaller things. I made humans just to see what would happen. A bit of an experiment. An experiment? Bob echoed incredulously. We're an experiment? Well, I had some leftover materials from when I made the platypus, and boom, humans. Leftovers from a platypus, Bob muttered. Okay, sure, let's go with that. Next question. What about all those historical mysteries, like Atlantis, the pyramids, the Bermuda Triangle? Was there a grand plan behind those? God grinned. Ah, that stuff. Just me messing around. You know how sometimes you start a project and then forget about it halfway through. Atlantis was one of those. The pyramids? Just stacking stones to see how high they'd go. Bermuda Triangle? That was an intern's mistake. An intern? Bob asked, stunned. Yep, Stan. He was new. Had no idea what he was doing. Bob stared at the table. Stan. The intern made the Bermuda Triangle. Yep, God slurped from the straw again, sounding pleased with himself. Turned out pretty well if I do say so. Bob felt a vein in his forehead begin to throb. He had five questions left and was no closer to understanding anything. But he couldn't stop now. Why do bad things happen to good people? Random distribution, God said immediately. Like dice, just rolls that way sometimes. Bob gritted his teeth. And good things happening to bad people? Same dice, Bob. Same dice. He buried his face in his hands. This was a nightmare. Okay, he mumbled through his fingers. Last question. One last chance to make sense of all this. Why do we keep searching for answers, for meaning, if you're telling me it's all random and chaotic? God chuckled softly. Oh, Bob. Because what else would you do? It's either that or binge watch TV. Searching for meaning keeps you busy. Besides, it's fun to watch. Bob's mouth dropped open again. We're entertainment? You got it, God said, giving him finger guns. You're a cosmic reality show, and I have to say the ratings are pretty solid. Bob sat in stunned silence as God finished the last of his drink and stood up. Well, it's been fun, but I've got a universe to run, or at least let it run itself for a while. God winked. Don't think too hard about it, Bob. That's where the trouble starts. And with that, God vanished, leaving Bob alone at the table with ten answers that only made the universe seem even more absurd than before.